Hey guys, Vevin Vic here and welcome to a vlog, vlog number 23. If you are counting like me, I'm going to be vaping on the crown on the nano in today's vlog. And inside the vlog juice, I have <laughs> uh, Old English Orchard Reserve by the Steam Co. Lovely stuff. Genuinely lovely stuff. Let's just get straight into your comments from the previous vlog. John Millington, uh, he is the owner of the Attitude Facebook group, so go and check that out. It's a cool vaping group on Facebook. Um, not on the train, if you remember, we were talking about what hype things or uh, what vaping trends you're not really part of. I was saying that I'm not really on, you know, TC, I'm not really on lipos, I'm not really on... DNA 200s and squonking and various things and so here's what you guys were saying uh, John Millington said not on the train when it comes to sub ohm tanks I actually really hate them <laughs> neither am I interested in DNA 200s or expensive so called premium juice temp sensing no give me a decent 5060 watt mod and a decent RTA and I am happy Oh, I also told people they had to put their uh, age sex location in the comments as well. Uh, so John is late 40s uh, from North Wales. And male. This is a bloke, okay? <laughs> I, I don't know why I made you guys do this. And then when the comments started coming in with people's age sex location, I felt bad. I felt like, oh, I'm asking too much. Um, let's have a look. What else? Um, oh, Brian Ferrante. Uh, he said, uh, tried vinegar and rubbing alcohol together, 50-50. If you don't want to try that, we have stuff here called Gogon or Gugon. Um, and what he's on about is this. Um, I've got this mucky mark on my box mod and I'm, uh, I'm going to clean it off. And I think I've got more comments of people telling me how I can clean it off than, uh, than the typical thing. Uh, Ed Kennedy said he said a lot this is a long one i think in fact i think he challenged me to uh to to read this one out in the vlog and not bore people uh ed is 34 from derby um i want to be on the dna 200 train but like you i want an all day battery in there i'm interested in some of these 3 by 18650 mods uh, that are coming out now like the relu and stuff we might talk about that later um he goes on to mention my superb podcast, but I'm not going to plug that here. Um, I'm not going to mention the Let's Vape podcast today, I don't think. Um, I'm not going to say that it's on SoundCloud, that you can get it on iTunes. I'm not going to say like there's links in the description, because I keep going over that, and I think everyone knows about the podcast now. Uh, Trevor Lebaz says, wash your cup, um, FFS, he says. Um, you're not going to like this. You're not going to like this, Tribar Labaz. It's still mucky. It's been a long day already, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, Steve Harding says, I haven't jumped on the Hex Ohm wagon. Seems like... Uh, oh, everyone I see in a fa vape shop or Facebook groups seems to have an Hex Ohm. Uh, <laughs> he's absolutely right. Um, they are what they are. They are what they are. I mean... They're incredibly, apart from not being very good looking, they're very similar to this sort of thing, you know, 6 volts, um, 6 volt series mod, you know, this is similar setup as well, really. Um, you can build quite low on them though, that's that's what's quite good. I think people like the additional power and the fact that they can build super low on them, so that's, I, suppose it, they, I suppose they are good, but they are, they are pricey. Um, Dan's, Danzers? 99 says acetone to remove the sticker crap, I think. Uh, <laughs> Amber Apple 01 says lighter fluid works very well. Um, Faceless Vapor 35 mail from Lincolnshire uh, said not spending loads of cash on gear. Um, Question: What do you do for your, what do you do for a living? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, if you do, sorry, but uh, I was very curious. Um, what do I do for a living? I'm a project manager for a software development company, uh, which sounds quite good, doesn't it? But uh, <laughs> it's it's just a job. It's boring. Um, I was a I was a 
software designer, then I was a sort of a software developer, then yeah, you work your way up, don't you? And now I'm project managing uh, at a company. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Um, Sheeny VG says male twenty eight from Essex. I'm not. I'm not on that nickel or titanium train, as I'm still not 100% it's safe. I will stick with my stainless steel or canthal. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I'm, on, I'm, not, I'm not on either. Don't tell anyone, though. Keeping that quiet. Um, uh, zero, zero 05AC says uh, he's 35 and is male from Sweden. Um... I'm afraid of anything other than canthol, uh, and I have never understood why you use something else. I do have, though, DNA 200 mods, but I'm also afraid of lipos, so I barely use them. <laughs> oh, uh, well, not afraid, but concerned about health and danger of the lipo going off at home. Um, I think it's I think it's smart to be cautious with your lipo mod. Um, I think. You, if you're aware of the dangers, then in some ways you're protected from them. If you use it in the house, you're gentle with it, you don't bang it, knock it, or anything like that. If you're very vigilant towards it, uh, if you're vigilant towards the pack swelling, the battery swelling, causing issues, if you're aware of keeping the uh, three batteries that are wrapped together um, charging together as in unison uh, and one not depleting more than the rest if you're aware of all those dangers um, as well if you put it in a fireproof charging bag as well they're easy to get hold of if you're aware of those dangers I wouldn't be too petrified about lipos um, but uh, I'm more worried about the people that aren't aware of the dangers of lipos like chucking their mod about and the lipos getting damaged and the problems that that could cause um, I'm more worried about that. So the fact that you're aware is good, really, because that, that shows that that's, there's a certain protection in that. Um, John Abate says, "Come on, Vic. Indoor smokers has been displaying and reading out viewer comments on his Friday night videos for years, and he juggles." Um, good. Po I should have said good point. Uh, I can wrap a coil though, so pfft, yeah. And I don't think the iClear 30B is good either. So I win over indoor smokers. Um, sorry, I know those come out really loud. I might start editing. I might start like cutting me vaping. Um, female 50-ish from Essex. Um... WD, while WD-40 is good and works okay, it leaves a smell behind, so you'll have to wash it off. I use petrol fluid uh, for light, for you can put in your Zippo. Uh, light, yeah, lighter fluid type stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you, uh, Janine C, for that. Uh, I really shouldn't have said anything. Uh, Papalona69 said he's... I got 90 comments, by the way, guys, so I'm not going to be going too into this. Um, a few more comments. Um, Papalona69, 36 male from Glasgow. Uh, after 16 months vaping, following 20 years smoking, I am still stuck on mouth to lunging. I blame this on my love of coffee at work all day. Uh, that a silo on my Sigeli 150 filled with power sauce. Uh, was made for. No TC, DNA 200 or RDAs for me. And he says, do I even vape? That is a completely legitimate way to vape. Uh, the silo the silo is a beast. Um, Star Wars Collector says, Peter Wells, Cornwall, uh, Smock TFV4. They're kind of a load of junk and leak like hell. Just don't get them. <laughs> Discuss. Um, the TFV4... Uh, Peter, thanks for commenting. Um, it seems to be one of those tanks that is very inconsistent. Uh, you've, you'll see two reviews. One review will say they love it. The next review will say they've had nothing but trouble with it. And so I don't know if it's a build quality thing, um, a quality assurance thing. Um, it just seems like some are bad, some are good. So take your chances with that clear miser. Um, James Mucklin, 32, says... Uh, 
Oh, he says he's in Pennsylvania, USA. The cloud chasing fad isn't for me. I like sub ohm dual coil RTAs, but not really into cloud chasing. Yeah, I'm with him on that. I'm with him on that. It's not really about the clouds. The clouds are just a byproduct of the big tasty flavour. Jennifer 34 from Michigan. I don't do temp control and I don't use external batteries. I personally feel an internal battery is a bit safer. Less to worry about. Um, I don't know, there's people that would tell you the complete opposite, that with the external batteries you can charge them independently, however you like and stuff, so... Mm. Uh, Brian Ferrante says, uh, another suggestion, uh, maybe we could say hi to your wife if she's up to it. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll get her in at some point. I will get her in at some point. Uh... Right, last one. Let's make it a good one. John Armstrong, male, 57, Torquay, not into NI, TI, SS, and all that nonsense. I get perfect temp control with Camfall by not letting my tank go dry. It's easy. Just look through the glass bit and top it up when it looks low on juice. I agree. My temperature control tends to be this button here. If uh, it's getting too hot, I stop pressing it. That's my sort of temp control. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, last one. Very last one, because I've just noticed it's from New Zealand. Uh, Panzer 12, 45 mil, New Plymouth, New Zealand. TC sucks. Stainless at 0.7. Uh, 30 watts is my sweet spot. It is mine as well, actually. Uh, roughly speaking, depending on what I'm using. But, um, yeah. So, loads of comments. Overwhelmed by the comments, guys. Awesome comments. It seems like, I don't know if I've influenced people's va vaping styles or people with similar vaping styles to me are drawn to this channel because we're similar. Um, but it seems like, uh, it just seems like a lot of you vape like me. Like a lot of you aren't asked about TC and a lot of you like, you know, 30 to 60 watts and RTAs. And I, I really like that. It's really cool. It's really nice. It's, I think it gave me a really nice, I mean, it gave me a million ways to clean that sticker off, uh, in the comments, but it also, you know, um, it gave me some nice feedback, a nice broad thing. I'm surprised there's not more mods that are sort of ignoring the TC. Cause if you look at the cross, if you look at that cross section, there, there's a lot of people that aren't interested in temperature control. The topic for today's vlog, um, Okay, so I've got a new thing that you've just seen a video for, for the support. The video before this was the Watofo support. Here it is. <laughs> really oversaturated. Um, but anyway, this is the support. Um, and I just did a new video, a new series that I'm going to be sort of doing. Uh, is it all that? Uh, the Watofo support. Uh, and I'm going to do, I've got the crown, the crown next. Uh, is it all that? The you well crown. Uh, so what I want to know is, what uh, do you want me to get to do an is it all that video? So let me know in the comments. Something that's got hype, it's got praise. Uh, people are saying they love it. Or when certainly when the reviews originally came out, they were loving it. Um, yeah. Put in the comment section uh, an item that you would like to see on Is It All That? So it can be anything, a mod, a tank, a clearomizer, a dripper, some cotton, maybe cotton bacon. A lot of people are raving about that. I, I, I could try that. I could give that a go on the cam. Um, I don't know. So yeah, so put in the comments. Put in the comments uh, something you want me to feature in Is It All That? So, it's time for coming up for review. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> What have we got coming up for review? We have got, as I've just said, the You Well Crown. I've got it on here. Got the point five head in at the moment at let's bump this up. I've got it. I've got it at sixty watts. Point five head uh, on the nano. 
Um, so nice battery life and nice tank of juice in here. So that is coming up on Is It All That? So if you want to find out if the UL Crown is all that, because it has got so much praise universally across the board. So we'll find out if it really is all that. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So we've got that coming up. Uh, I'm going to do a build video for the Billow V2. I feel like I've just nailed that tank now and I know it's quite a popular tank I know people lot quite a lot of people have got it so I'm just gonna do a build video on it um, just showing you how I do it and why I really like it like that um, so there's that uh, we have got the Fumi vapor challenge in the description uh, let me make a note of this so don't forget notes sorry wobbling everything here notes Fumi okay so there's a link in the description to Cloudy's Fumi Vapor Challenge video. Um, he can explain it all to you, but basically Fumi Vapor, makers of the gang mod, um, they have uh, done a new thing, this this new initiative to get more smokers vaping, uh, and it's called the Fumi Vapor Challenge. So go on down and check out Cloudy's video. Uh, in his video, he ch challenged me and Dan and Adam from So Much Vape to do the Fumi Vapor Challenge. So I'm gonna have a video for that coming soon and there's gonna be a chance for you guys to get some stuff to help convert some smokers in your lives. So that is the, that's the thought process behind that. That's the Fumi Vapor Challenge. Uh, I've got the Jack Vapor uh, Tilt mod coming uh, on its way. Uh, Jack Vapor, for those who don't know, is a, a big chain of shops in the UK. They do, uh, yeah, they're brick and mortar stores, but they've got an online shop as well. I'll put a link in the description to that, but remember to do that too. Jack. Um, Yes, so they've got an online shop uh, and they make their own mods, they make their own kits, they do all kinds of stuff and they've got this new mod, newish mod, called the Tilt uh, and so I'm going to be reviewing that mod. Uh, I've also got some juice, now um, I just went and bought some juice, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it yet, I haven't 100% decided but I've got some Yorkshire Vapor juices coming, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of you and I'm hearing you in the comments of the juice reviews saying you want cheaper juice, more affordable juice that is still good. And there's loads of good affordable juice out there. And Yorkshire Vapor juices are very highly rated across the board. And they're very, very cost effective. Uh, so I've got some on their way. So I'm, I'll am i probably end up doing a video for that. I don't know for sure though. Uh, so that is what we've got coming. Oh, we've got another few things coming as well. But I don't want to talk about them too soon. Previously reviewed items. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what's going on here. Oh god, yeah. I've massively overduced this. I've massively overduced this. But uh, this is the Watofo Sabar. The Watofo support, is it all that, is, was the video. Uh, very highly rated um, budget RDA from Watofo. Um, I did a video for the uh, Remati. The Remati. Um, and uh, in that video I said this could possibly be the best currently available budget RDA. And a lot of you guys said, actually we think it is this, the Watofo support. So I thought, oh, I've got to get one of them then. See what you guys are banging on about. Uh, and it is great. It is a great RDA. Still loving it. Still vaping it like this. But uh, I've massively overduced this wick. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's great. I love that you can just drip inside. Leaks, are, chances of leaking is low as heck. Um, because because it's got this clever airflow at the top uh, flavors decent not brilliant but decent it's really well made comes in loads of colors uh, easy to build on I really like it I really like this RDA uh, so this is really good okay so that was that uh, the support oh the STA yes STL the STL, STL Wolf from Kim Ree and Kim Sun. Now, this one has... This one really upset me after I'd put the review up. Um, 
Got a bit of heat, got a bit of drama on it. How's the vape? It's a good vape, you can see it's a good vape. Um, so, what happened? Um, basically, Phil Basado put a post on Facebook about a thing that Kim Ree are doing. Now, Kim Ree sent me an email, a really normal email like I get often, just saying, we've got a product, do you want to review it? And I said, yeah, fine, here's my address. And then, about two days after that, I got another email from them, from a different email address, and it was all about this competition, this, um, this scheme, if you like, to get people to uh, um, do reviews. Uh, I think it was really what they were doing is angling for positive reviews because what they were saying, the best video will win money. And uh, there was rules to this thing. You like, you know, you do one video, you can get whatever. If you do free videos of three of our products and we like them, you could win this and you could win that. And um, really what it is, is, you know, that's sort of a scheme to sort of get positive reviews. So people saw this on Phil Basado's Facebook group, then saw that I'd done a review of it and put two and two together. And it came on, came onto my video in the comments section and they were like, ah, so you're saying that this is a good item. You're giving this a positive review because you want to win this competition thing. Not at all. It's not where I'm at at all. It's not where I want to be. Uh, I'm not in it to win any competition. I don't want to win any money. I'm not trying to win any money or anything like that. You know, the only thing, I was thinking about this the other day, uh, the reasons that I do this channel, the reasons that I make these videos, you know, I don't have a t-shirt that you can buy. I don't sell t-shirts. I don't have a juice company. I don't sell my juice or promote juice. And I don't really get things sent for free. Not really anyway, you know. Um, you know, so get some things, but I just review them and they are what they are, you know, then they just sit on the shelf or uh, do giveaways and stuff. I've got a giveaway coming up. <laughs> um, I don't, I think what they did was silly. I think this competition idea was a silly idea. I can see why they thought of it, but I think they were just too, they're just too detached from reviewing community to realise how that would go down in, in the reviewing community. And it's massively backfired because most reviewers, and I talked to a lot of reviewers, most reviewers won't touch them now because of what they've attempted to do. So it's massively backfired on them. I suppose it's backfired on me because people now think that I was being shady in that video. Um, uh, the only reason I'd make do this channel, really, the only thing I've got, my only shtick, is my honesty. That's all I really do this for. It's all I. It's, I'm only here for this. I, I just like being honest, and I just like being honest with my reviews, and I like being an honest voice out there. And I, uh, if I've got, if I've not got that, I've not got nothing on this channel because it's not the most popular channel. Doesn't get the most views. Not getting any money out of it or anything like that. Um, so I was devastated by those comments, uh, to be blunt. Um, it is, a, this, the really tragic thing is, it is a great item. This kicks ass. It's a, it's a great kit. If this is the sort of thing you're looking for, a no-nonsense kit, say, if you're a, a vape, if you're an e-cig user wanting a better e-cig without becoming, it becoming a hobby, um, and you just want a better kit um, with no, still no nonsense, still no loads of buttons or any sort of fancy stuff. You just want to put your juice in and go, but you want a better vape. This is it. This is what this is for. How do you compare that vape to a petrol station vape, you know, a gas station vape? It's streets ahead. It's great. It's, it's a great item. And that's why it got a positive review for me. And that's the only reason it got a positive review for me. Uh, I was absolutely gutted about those comments. Um, it's really good. It's really good for what it is. You know, it doesn't work. It's not something that's great for me personally because I like the hobbyist side of things. I like adjusting my watts and all that. It's not something I'm going to use every day, but it is great. It is brilliant at what it does. It does what it does really well. <sighs> so that was that. Coffee. Cheers. Mmm. That's delicious. Right. Uh, the next thing I reviewed was the Astral Tank from S-Body. 
Astral Tank from S of Body, sent on from iVapor.co.uk. Link in the description to them. Let me make a note of that as well. Sorry. iVapor. Um, yes, so sent on by them. The Astral Tank um, looked like this. A mouth to lung clearomizer to rival the Nautilus. You know, it's that Nautilus style. It is great. It is really good. Mouth to lung for days. Crisp, clean, lovely flavour. It's a great clearomizer. And this is what you can win today. This and some juice is what you can win today. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, but yeah, I thought it was great. I still think it's great. Great clearomizer. And so uh, that is what we're going to give away today. And what else? Oh, Ninja Wix. Ninja Wix was the other thing. The other uh, review, juice review. The, the other review I did was Ninja Wix. Uh, wicking material. It works fine, but it's a rip-off. And, um, I mean, if you want to see if I'm honest, go and check out that review. It was sent to me by the same people that sent me the reverb. Mr. E-Liquid. Uh, I think it's called Mr. E-Liquid, is it? Um, dot com. A huge American uh, vendor. A huge American vendor website um, that I could have struck some sort of a relationship with and and received products from them for ages and potentially you know if they liked what I did um, they you know there was an opportunity there for me to be very pleasant and polite about that in the hope of getting more things from them um, and I and I hope that they may see send more things to me in the future but I was honest about that. I was honest about that wick, you know. Uh, it's all right, but it's a rip-off. Uh, and that is what I said in the video for that. Um, I just want to be honest. I just want to be honest. Um, so that's that. That's that. Okay, so let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. The winner of the previous giveaway that won the H Cigar 50 Watt and the Cthulhu V2 was Daniel Sussex. Um, can't remember where you were from, but it's gone to you now. You've got it. You've received it, and you tweeted me and everything. I think you tweeted me, yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, you've received it, and all is well with that. So that was the winner of the previous one. Okay, so this time we are giving away the astral tank from S Body. Um, so you you get that as is. You also get, which was also sent from iVapor.co.uk, uh, iVapor Elixir, that's their other website as well, iVapor Elixir, Juice, Kiwi, Kiwi Berry, which I really liked, and Fruit Loops. So you get those two juices as well, and uh, Fruit Hoops from Vaping Wild, Vape Wild, Fruit Hoops, VapeWild.com, I believe. Oh, it doesn't say. Uh, VapeWild.com. Yes, VapeWild.com does say. Um, and Pumpkin Spice Latte from VapeWild.com. So if you want to win these, juices and tank. Ideally, I'd like it to go to someone who is a mouth-to-lung vapor, uh, uses Nautiluses and clearomizers of that nature. Um, but I can't do anything about that. So, yeah, if you went, uh, you're, you're down for the win. Um, so to win those, who makes the Astral Tank? Uh, who makes the Astral Tank clearomizer? Um, send that to my email address cd underscore vic at hotmail.com put um, giveaway 23 because this is vlog 23 um, uh, put your address, your name and the answer to the question in the body and put the title as giveaway 23 to cd underscore vic at hotmail.com so that is how you win uh, this that is how you win that hmm Time for a juice review. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Time for a juice review. Time, 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 time for a juice review. Juice review, juice review, juice review. Okay. So, um, sent on from ecigar.in. Uh, www.ecigar.in is this juice easy to vape uh, black current easy to vape uh, mint uh, easy to vape watermelon and I don't know what this one is it's all in foreign I don't know <laughs> Um, okay, so 
what's the crack with this juice, go and check out eCigar.in. Um, cool website. They've got loads of things for sale on there, but they sent me this juice. Now, the first thing I should say, actually, is um, I've got the website, actually, here. So let's just do the business. Uh, $3.20. Um, gets you 10 mil. They've got it in 0, 6 and 12 and they've got a range of flavors on there as well as well as loads of other interesting stuff. Now I got the black currant uh, box but there's nothing in it. It's empty. Empty. So I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything about that one. Um, I'm not a big lover of mint. Um, and the other one, I don't even know what it is, so I'd look like a right idiot reviewing that. Um, but I have got watermelon. Watermelon. Quite cool bottles, quite nice bottles, loads of good information, dates, warnings, 18, safety channel caps and all that. And it's good price, isn't it? $3 for 10 mils, good price. Um, so, I've got it in the Billow V2 on the Axis. I've got watermelon from uh, eCigar.in. Perfectly pleasant, you know, lovely, lovely enough. Uh, vanilla. They all seem very basic flavors on there. It's cheap juice. It's, I think it's 50 50. Um, and it's, you know, it's just what it is. It tastes a bit like watermelon. And that's what it is. And that's why I couldn't really do a full juice review for this juice. I didn't, I'm not doing a separate video. Uh, I just thought I'd put them in the vlog. Uh, thank you for sending them on. They are what they are. They're just basic flavours, really. But I actually think the site is pretty cool. So go and check out eCigar.in. Um, yeah. So this is this. Watermelon. Tastes alright. Tastes alright. It's a bit basic. Is what it is, you know. Just sort of cheap juice. What more can I say than that? About that? Uh, yeah, so that <laughs> that was the juice review. I'm sorry if that was a bit of a letdown, a uh, bit of a washout. But uh, eCigar.in sent me some juice. That was the juice. It's okay. It's a bit basic. Um, but go and check out the site. Um, so, what is next? News. The news. Time for the news. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Okay, so the news, the news, the news. The One of the big stories in the news, and thank you to Edwin and Jennifer for sending on news to me. In the previous vlog, I said, anyone that ever spots any news, send me a link via email. And I, that still stands. Please do send me any news you see via uh, email email especially if you want me to talk about it in the vlog so the main thing that has caught my eye in the news uh, this week uh, and sent on by Edwin and Jennifer uh, is Malaysia what is going on in Malaysia um, basically what's happened is about a week ago just over a week ago now um, there was a couple of articles you know sort of old school uh, scientific uh, study articles uh, it, that made the Malaysian press saying that e-cigs are bad and uh, that they cause this problem and this problem and they're dangerous because of this and it's all stuff that in the UK and America we've all kibosh now and we've sort of said that's nonsense stop talking out of your hat uh, and it's it, it's nonsense but those articles came out and the Malaysian government just went bong jumped right on it and they just went hell for leather so they were like right that is it we're clamping down on all these nicotine juices, all these nicotine products. We're clamping down on vaping. We're clamping down on vape shops. And they have begun raiding vape shops in Malaysia. Um, I saw an article in a, a, a newspaper. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Malaysia. Um, 
I put a link in the description to the news story of a Malaysian vape shop that had been raided. They took every, it was a really cool looking vape shop. Uh, E-cigs have exploded in Malaysia. Uh, they've come so, so popular overnight over the last six months. And it's big business over there. There's a lot of smokers over there. Uh, and a lot of them have turned over to um, vaping. And so I guess there's a big tax hit there uh, in Malaysia. Um, and so this article, it showed a really cool looking vape shop, got completely raided. They cleared every bottle of juice out, confiscated every bottle of juice in the store, every single bottle of juice on the shelves. They had 24 hours to appeal. Uh, they knew they weren't going to get anywhere with that. And the shop has just had to shut. They've just got no stock to sell now. They've had it all confiscated. They've had it all taken from them. Um, terrible, terrible times in Malaysia. I feel really sorry for them. Can you imagine that? All your favourite vape shops getting, you know, bombed out. I just think that's terrible. Um, and it shows how quickly, you know, governments can turn. And it shows how important to governments this tax dollar is, you know. It's uh, it's a big cash cow for every government in around the world, the whole smoking and tobacco and pharmacy thing. It is big business. And uh, that is, you know, that's, that's what happens. Uh, the other thing that I was sent on as well, uh, Justin Bieber caught uh, entering and leaving a, a vape shop uh, and I thought that was quite an interesting one um, and a, an interesting one maybe to throw out to you guys as well what do you think about the whole celebrities vaping thing is it dangerous is there is there some worries there concerns or is it quite cool that now we might have some celebrity vapors I know Catherine Heigl vapes a Proveri um, Red Hot Chili Paper, uh, Peppers vape um, Daryl from Walking Dead he's a vapor uh, Kevin Spacey, vape, he's a famous vapor, and he's uh, he's in a film. He's in a film where he's vaping all the way through this film. Um, so you've got these celebrity vapors now. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's two. I think it's it potentially both. The I think one positive thing that I think I'd like to see happen of it, um, if if it normalised vaping, I think that'd be really helpful. Um, if celebrities vaping helped to normalize vaping because I don't know about you guys but I still get funny looks when I'm out and about vaping um, it still seems like something that public perception isn't great on uh, so I still get dirty looks when I go vaping so if it helped to normalize vaping I think that would be really positive on the other hand I think there's the danger of them the danger of potentially it becoming cool you know, if if Bieber starts vaping on stage and stuff, all his followers, potentially kids, you know, young people, they might want to do it as well because they've seen him doing it. Uh, and so that is a danger as well. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. So that is the news section. Um, shout outs. I'm going to do the brick and mortar shout outs in this section. So if you have a brick and mortar store or you really like your local brick and mortar store, put in the comments uh, where they are, what their name is, and they could get shouted out in the next vlog. Um, so the two that were mentioned in the comments of the previous vlog were Vapy Jack's Cafe in Derby in the UK uh, and 888 Vape Street in Somerset. Uh, so shout out to those vape shops. Uh, it sounds like that uh, they're very good vape shops. It's that so it sounds like uh, that's what people are saying in the comments. Uh, so go and check those out if you're local. They both have or oh, the AAA Vape Street definitely has online presence. So maybe go have a peek at that as well. Um, so yeah, so those are the vape shops. Uh, that is the shout out. Shout outs to Edwin and Jennifer for sending on that news. That is awesome. Uh, and shout out to everyone for watching again. Thank you for watching. Um, I've been Vaping Vic, and I'll see you again really soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.